So today we're going to show you how to properly contour and highlight your face based on your own face shape. I'm going to start first with a highlight around her eyes with a primer that has a little bit of a cool base. Next I'm going to pick a concealer that's going to go on top of the primer that we used. You want to pick a color that's lighter than your actual skin tone by about two or three shades. Using a tool like your Beauty Blender is going to help you blend your products out and make it look like a soft focus glow. Next you're going to go in and add your foundation. You want to ensure that you don't overlap the highlight that we've already placed down. This is going to go all around the perimeter of the face as well as down the neck slightly. Now we're going to go back in and blend out our foundation again with our Beauty Blender. It's very nice to use both the tip of it for around the eyes and the butt of it to ensure that you get a nice blending all around the face. You're going to place the depth of the contour in the areas of your cheekbone that coordinate with where the high planes of your orbital bones from around the eyes actually lay. You're going to start from the hairline and work your way down towards the nose so as to cause a natural halo the way that it would if the sun had naturally kissed your face. Now that we've shaped the face, we're going to go in and blend out the colors. You want to use a stiff blending brush that has a little bit of a give that's in a synthetic blend. Now we're going to go in and use a color correcting powder to set the highlight all throughout the face. This is going to ensure to cancel any yellowness or sallowness to the face because Sandra is an olive undertone. Next you're going to go in with a blush. You want to pick a color that's appropriate for your skin tone with both depth as well as brightness. You want to ensure that you go over the apples of the cheek. This is where when you smile, you see the bulb that comes through. You don't want to overlap into the areas that are the highlight or go down too far into the areas that are the contour. Last but not least, we're going to go in with our highlighting powder. You want to pick a color that's appropriate for your skin in either a gold or a champagne. You're going to start at the hairline and work down towards the nose, stopping right mid-center of the pupil. That concludes our highlight and contour section. Now with a little bit of magic, we're going to go in and get her camera ready for her event tonight. <laughs>